Okay, so you guys, I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope you guys are ready to revisit, rethink, reorganize a lot of things here. Uh, again, Mercury will be going in retrograde on the 17th. So we're going to be uh, traveling back uh, with a lot of old feelings and emotions um, in the terms of um, Pisces. So um, I've already been kind of hit with a few things and I, I can honestly say I feel like knowing my um, shadow self that I've done some pretty good um, work as far as mastering um, Ooh, sometimes I feel quite crazy when I'm talking myself through um, some things. When I'm talking myself through some things, um, I feel kind of crazy. But I'm able to get back to the point of gaining and uh, sustaining and maintaining my power. Which is ultimately the best feeling ever. Instant gratification is never, 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 never good in the long run. Especially when it comes to low, lower level um, issues here. So we are going to be reading for all placements for Leo, um, for the month of March here. So, um, I'm definitely going to be posting this on my Facebook and YouTube channel. So, you know, like comment, share, subscribe, uh, book me for your own, very own private reading. This word is differently so yeah no get ready to revisit some old emotions that's for sure get ready to revisit some old emotions it's not fun but um i guess you could say it's worth it so let's see here we have leo um march reading gonna go ahead and read some energies two cards flipped over in the deck so we do have the um burden ten of wands and the father of pentacles here so maybe you're feeling um overburdened i feel like too much is on you when it comes to uh, managing your home life in the highest state that you can you know sometimes when we have a lot of responsibilities that we have to meet or match um it can become become overwhelming right <clears throat> especially if you have grand responsibilities here at home, then you have grand responsibilities at work, then you have grand responsibilities at your other job. That could be that someone has a lot of um, responsibilities, <clears throat> burden. Someone probably trusts you because you're more practical. You think um, you move at a slower pace, so your um, your performances are always like more like a calculated, practical type of st um, stance there. <clears throat> What's going on for Leo in the month of March? I see that, again, someone's overburning. I'm getting Virgo, Taurus, <clears throat> Capricorn vibes here, or just someone who's really grounded and slow to, um, not really quick to change, really slow to change. Someone who um, doesn't mind change, but is uh, very practical when it comes to it. So, Leo, what's going on with Leo in March here? Leo's energy the month of March. So it looks like we are overwhelmed with our home life. It looks like we're trying to get our eggs all in one basket. Maybe we're looking to travel and go on a vacation. We do have fixed energy here with Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy here. So it looks like we're looking to release some burdens because we're looking to um, get our eggs in, or maybe we're just overworking, right? So we can get our eggs in one basket so we can go travel the world or we could feel overburdened because we feel like the world is um, currently weighing on us. It's weighing so much on us. Everybody needs something from us. People have been asking to borrow money and asking for you to, you know, you know, the people have been calling on you for your protection. I see here um, people been calling on you so you could be the light in their world and they're not really sensing that you're overburdening them and you do have the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck it looks like um we're not really sure how to tell these people like um i i mentally can't take all this on right now or um because we're so overburdened 
we feel like our mind is we, we can't complete all the tasks at hand right we're trying to do 10 things at once but nothing's getting done because you're over here doing some work over here over here doing some work you might forget about this that you were doing over there so nothing gets done so it's always good to focus in schedule to get one task done at a time okay so yeah it looks like some leos are overburdened okay but it looks like you guys a very well potentially will come out the, out of that burden but i would definitely um pay attention to that so we have leo march reading oh we got a lot of cards flipping over here so it looks like we're we're trying to really really stand at the um we're trying to be resilient with our energy right now, right? We're trying to really, really, really show off, I feel like. This is definitely Leo's energy, the seven of fire, really showing off their skill, really showing their confidence, really showing that heart courage um, energy when it comes to either defending yourself or just showing that you're, that you're capable of getting the job done, okay? No matter what time of day or night. So I have... The Ten of Swords here where it looks like we're, we're stepping up to get the do, do, job done. We're finally stepping up to get the job done. Um, and then that's going to give you that mental release because we did see the Eight of Swords. It looks like we were wrapped up in thoughts. We didn't know what direction we were going in. And it looks like in this deck we are going to be getting some mental release because you're just going to harness that energy. Step up with confidence because you're like, I am the Leo. I'm the lion. I mean, what am I doing here? I'm tripping. Let me gather my confidence up. Knock this out. And then I see that mental release coming in March. Yes, justice. We're going to be grounded again. And then I see that you're going to come in with a new, fresh emotion, okay? When you take that sigh of relief, you're able to bring... When that completion comes in, you're, you're able to embody some new, fresh energy, okay? So that's pretty cool. That's clear. You're going to harness the energy, get shit done, get that confidence aligned, justice is going to come everything's going to be back in focus we're going to be able to pull in some new emotional energy here yeah you have the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck again five of swords so you guys are really stressing out about something and i really feel like it's money you guys are making a hard decision about your home life because now we have the queen of pentacles before we had the king of pentacles i don't know if you guys are behind on bills for some reason i got behind on bills okay late payments i just heard that so i don't know if you're behind on bills maybe you're behind on like a car note maybe you're trying to figure out how you're going to manage your bills like okay do i pay this bill first or this bill for second um maybe taxes aren't coming fast enough maybe maybe they're taking your taxes um but i feel like i keep getting behind on bills so it looks like we're trying to harness this energy to catch up with something okay then we feel balanced but then we get right back off balance so um then you have another completion coming in um here you have that sagittarius energy so we're writing off some things so it's de like okay so we're going back and forth with this energy of trying to get shit done but it looks like we're really really fighting trying to get all the tasks done. and for some reason i feel like it's catching up on bills but it looks like it, eventually you're going to get everything handled and written off and taken care of. Um, yeah. Yeah, just really focus on your financial uh, financial state in uh, March because it looks like when well, you're off balance when it comes to finances, of course you're going to be mentally off balance, right? You cannot... Oh, Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I can see that clear. Um, so, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Totally forgot. Ooh. But yeah, no, I can see the ener energy clear um, that someone's trying to manage for sure. Okay. Alrighty, so Leo... March energy. What's going on for Leo in March? What messages do we have for Leo in March? All right. What messages do we have for Leo in March? What's going on? All right. So I did see the Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah, we're really, really, really trying to get our coins together. Yeah. So we have. Um, we're just trying to come up with new ideas on how to manage money. 
Uh, I don't know if we have help from a lover here, but I see maybe he's trying to be practical on the way he's spending money, or maybe maybe he's um, because he has roses in his hands right now. I see that we're planting some roots here. And then I see these, we're trying to align them and make sure we manage these roots that we're planting here. Maybe we're trying to plant them all over the place so we can bear fruits over here, bear fruits over there, bear fruits over here. Uh, yeah, so we're trying to be elevated in thought when it comes up to managing money. Um, but I don't know, the Knight of Cups, clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords. Clarify, clarify the Knight of Cups, please. So we have a lot of fast-moving energy. I would say that we have a lot of fast-moving energy. So maybe again, I got a hustle, a hustle and bustle energy. But like we got, feel like we're it's like a hustle and bustle energy. But then you also got like a practical and a thinking energy. So we we got to get shit done, but we got to be smart about it, and we got to be direct about it. But we have to be practical about it too. So, but it, it's definitely like a rush. Like we got to get things in alignment now and, and being uh, compassionate, being practical and being logical and uh, communicative about whatever finances you're trying to bring into form. I don't know if you have to go out and ask people for money. I don't know. Maybe we're thinking about if we can get services from somewhere, uh, thinking about how we can ask people for money, who we can ask for money. How can we help the situation grow? So I won't feel mentally overwhelmed and we have the hangman at the bottom of the deck yep. so right now we're just really imagining and we're thinking about again harnessing that energy um to really get our financial state under control so we're like what can we do what can i do you know we're thinking what can i do what can i do and then it's like, okay, we find out one week what, what we can do. We go over there and handle it. So we're just handling it in maybe many different ways. Maybe this person helping you. Maybe this program is helping you. Maybe, you know, you're going to go file taxes. Maybe you're going to go sell hair. I don't know what you do, but um, I just see like we're trying to plant our seeds everywhere uh, so we can harness, uh, harvest money. That's, that's for sure. So I, good luck to that. Um, that's, it sound it sounds a bit exhausting, but you know what? You've got to harness that hen hen energy when you need to keep the lights on. Um, so you just got to get shit done. Um, look, I read that already. Let's see here. Let's see, Leo, what in the month of March? here already leo what's going on in the month of march here let's see here what's going on what what can we do to correct our situation in the month of march any underlying energies here that we can you know take a look up okay yeah so yeah i'm really getting someone needs to hold on to money short of money feeling left out in a cold um, there's conflict here. Maybe the per people that you feel like should be helping you, they're not helping you. We have the Knight of Wands. Maybe someone's rushing in, acting as if they're going to help, and they didn't do not a goddamn thing is what I'm sensing. And it's just some conflict. It's like, damn, like you said you were going to help me. You left, out, you left me out in the cold. You're being quite um, stingy right now. Um, maybe what they offered you, they didn't offer you what you thought they would, or maybe you have to argue for them or really like, you know, sometimes you ask people for help and then they give you this whole spill on, you know, did you do this? Why you didn't do this? It's like, can you help me or not? I'm getting that energy because now I see this person offering up, like giving up an offer and I see wishes fulfilled. So this person is going to come in and work with you as a team and you are going to get it and the judgment card and the sun card. So you're going to get the help that you need. But it looks like it's going to come with a hard compromise. Like it's going to be like a comp. Like I feel like someone's going to just be talking mess about it. And it's just, it's just going to seem like 
Uh, it's like you, maybe it's the person that you didn't want to call on while you were stinking in the other deck. Like you didn't want to call this particular person, but you know they will, you know they will do it. But you know it's gonna be a long, drawn out, negative, disempowering conversation. But they ultimately do it. But it's like at the, uh, it's at the um, expense of like your emotions. You know, of you feeling like you ain't shit, basically. You know, you're like, oh, thank you for helping me, but I really don't feel energized or highly, high, you know, empowered through this. You know, I feel really torn down, but, you know, at the end of the day, I got help, I guess. That's what I'm sensing. So, Leo, March. Oh, God damn. Okay. So, clearly, Leo's energy is live in here. Okay. Excuse me, guys. The sun card. I got cards down here. Excuse my hair. My hair is crazy right now. All right, Leo, March, sun, moon, rising. What's going on for Leo in the month of March? What energies do we have to be aware of? How can we maneuver? Let's get a general read here. What's going on? Do, 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 do. Leah, energy, March. All right, so let's see here. What's going on? So it looks like we're thinking and contemplating, and we know we have lots of different options, but again, when it comes to money. And it looks like someone's going to come in with a sharp tongue, but with a lot of love, again, like I've seen, and help. Um, but clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah, someone with a fire energy and a sharp tongue, very direct. Yeah, somebody very fiery is going to come in with a message for you. Um, and it kind of feels like they have a little bit of power over you. I'm sensing someone has power over you. Um whoever particular group this maybe you have a lot of options but this particular person that's coming in with the sharp tongue is your best option verify the uh ace of pentacles please yeah i see this person looking like timid here yeah it's like yeah so i do see that we have options and we actually are looking to be like okay who can i get this money offer from Okay, can I get it from this person? If I get it from this person, they're going to talk shit. If I get it from this person, they're going to tell me they can give it to me two weeks from now. That's not going to be, you know, maybe I will need the money two weeks from now, but I really need something right now. Um, gosh, if I tell this person, they might tell my business that I, I need money and might not, you know, just be like, girl, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, my God, I can't believe you're going through that. And next thing you know, they're telling everybody about your financial difficulty, you know. So it's like, who should I call on? I'm, I'm really sensing that. But, you know, nonetheless, we do make the call and someone is going to be generous. Looks like they might be generous with love, too. Yeah, because I see, like, after this offering, I just see, like, this real sexual energy coming in all of a sudden. Like, mm -mm. And then it's like this thirst. Or maybe that turns you on because you did mention your boyfriend. Maybe when him, he helps you out, you know, next thing you know, it's, you know, lights, camera, action, you know, because I'm getting that energy. Yeah, I'm getting that energy. Like, with that, for sure. That's a fact. All right, so love for Leo. What is going on for Leo? Love. Okay. Okay, so it looks like forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so yeah of course when you heal you get to mirror exactly what you want right you get your high you're vibrating high people are noticing that you're not vibrating on the lower level you're vibrating up here so you're more susceptible to offering in love um but you know other people who are vibrating high so soulmate yes this is your soulmate obviously anyone can be your soulmate soulmate is not particularly romantic so um, whether this is a romantic situation or not, or platonic, um, this person is your soulmate. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So if you have someone 
um, that you you intuitively feel like they're trying to sneak you or they're doing something behind your back or they're just not moving the way you want them to. Be intuitive about that. I mean, use your better judgment um, on what exactly you're feeling. Finances and career, that's so funny because that was in reverse. And we've been talking about finances the whole reading. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, um, your love life could, um, this very well could be having your lover looking at you a different way, um, as far as them feeling like you're a financial burden. Cause I did see the 10 of wands. I did say someone has a burden or someone feels like they're taking on, you know, too much or being called on too much or something like that. So I, I that's very prominent in this reading. So that story continues over here uh love leo march love leo march what's going on with leo for love of march kissing will come unconditional loving receiving affection so someone really really likes um affection and love and probably fiery and passionate um, I did see again when I seen that love money offer, I seen a whole bunch of sexual energy right behind it. So it's like, I um, guess it's only fair if someone helps you out to, you know, help them out. I don't know. Especially if it's your boyfriend, lover, whatever. Um, palm tree stability, security, um, growth, flexibility. So, you know, obviously we want to feel stable. So some people are really stable in a relationship where they need to bring in stability and be a little bit more grounded, ascending, transcending, obstacles, learning, expansion, new phases, preparing for you. Okay, so this can mean that someone is learning from all their, um, you know, mastering things, learning from life, and actually applying the learning. You know, lessons apply. Higher lessons learned over time. Clock, need time, take time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Okay, so yeah, no, um, take your time, to take the time to heal yourself, take the time to master yourself, take the time to work on yourself, um, that's always enough time in a day for that, okay, so, um, that's from the, um, love oracle card, island time wellness, okay, what can we surrender, Leo? Surrender to um, complete healing. I did see another card about healing. So we maybe need to heal from some things in our past. It says, open fully to loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotion, and spiritual healing. Surrender to frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you can... <clears throat> so you may approach the situation more calmly. So when it comes to, especially this whole money thing, just relax, take it in. I did, I did see it suspended and really thinking and thought about how we can, you know, get some help or how we can generate money. Um, so, yeah, no, in times like that, just breathe through it. Know your guides have you um, and you're always protected in that regard. Okay, other underlying messages from your guides. Hi, Priestess. So we have Earth energy here. But then the High Priestess. So it looks like um, let your inner thoughts flow with uh, with um, throughout you into your outer thoughts. I feel like we're ascending. Maybe we're going through a spiritual awakening and understanding more about ourselves. Maybe life is looking a bit different to us than we ever seen it before. Um, because when you start, you know, getting, being more intuitive and attuned, in tune with yourself, you start seeing things quite differently. Messages from your guys. You start getting creative. You know, you start moving into that fourth dimension, fifth dimensional realm, realm everything is looking different you, your mind is operating different you see things differently you perceive things differently okay so then in turn things start you know projecting okay so you have choices here so how i view this card is that we have a 
polarity to us. So when you are, um, especially right now where Mercury's in retrograde, we're going to be seeing some old cycles and some repeats here, right? We're going to have to address those. So we're going to figure out, do we have it mastered or not? And you're going to see whether you're triggered or you're able to move in and step into your power and vibrate high through a situation, okay? Now, we all have a shadow side. That's, we all do. Okay, that usually comes out when we need it to, right? Some people just, it comes out when someone says pass me that cup and someone could just flip out and just turn into their shadow side right that's not how it's supposed to work so a lot of things may be repeated even hard situations i've had quite a few what i had three hard situations in one day and that was challenging for me i was like okay this is enough but um i was able to whew, my shadow side did come out full front door access i mean dark as hell and I was able to come back and 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 put put this wing away and come forward in this form because I decided to step into my power and I, I I really I've decided that my shadow side wasn't needed in this situation but I did gain a lot of inner perspective I did a lot of inner thinking and then I was able to birth some new thoughts here from my intuitive knowing and not reacting from my trauma and letting my shadow side just immerse in this big cloud of fucking dark smoke. So what I'm getting here is listen to your inner voice so that you can make good choices, okay? Listen to your inner voice so that you can make good choices, all right? So that's the reading for um, Leo, month of March. Inbox me if you want an extended reading and pull from your individual energies alone. I'll be more than happy. Feel free to donate to um, to the Art of Tarot. Um, and if you want my Snapchat, you can just, you know, inbox me. Feel free to do that. I am currently taking any donations. A $5 donation is definitely um, the minimum. All righty, you guys. Um have a great night. I'm a bit exhausted. Hmm. I feel like Leo's energy exhausted me from all that running around and trying to scrounge up money and looking for different ways to do it. I've been in that state of mind before and it is quite exhausting. I really feel exhausted. Um, alrighty guys.